tells you. I was going to say, that social, sounds like you were a, the a social, social butterfly. butterfly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to this day. Uh, and I just practiced short hop, fastball, I'll cancel with Captain Falcon because I read that that was the best person to do it with. I was learning in, uh, in PM. I was just letting, because it had like the flashes. We have that now in 20X, it's X, and it's great. Yeah. Um, oh, the double ups. And then I practiced so long and I showed it to my first local and just got molly walked yeah. And I was like, why am I doing this? I just spent my whole summer trying to be competent <laughs> and it didn't work. Yep. Oh, the that's, how go, that go, that's how it goes for sometimes for a while. Yeah. So at least we, we could tell who Jedi is and who Steve Gill is, because Steve Gill is wearing his sponsor, his team, on a shirt. Yeah. Uh, and I like the Soul Dynasty shirt as well from Jedi. Overwatch League just wrapped up. So congratulations again to the London Spitfire. Yeah. Taking on my beloved Philadelphia Fusion in Grand Finals. No, that's a lie. You say yeah. beloved, but yeah, I saw you tweet out like, <laughs> I, oh, I guess like, I'm a Philly fan yeah, now. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's so sick how there's a Philly sports team in, in Grand Finals. I don't even live in Philly. From there, come on. Man. All right, that counts, that counts. Hardly home, but always repping. Okay. As Big Sean used to say. Uh, pretty even game so far, Do you though. think he still says that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bet Ooh. he wakes up every day and he, and he shrugs at his uh, wife or his girlfriend or any SO. Maybe just at his mirror. Repping every day. All right. It's a lot of smash attacks coming from Jedi. Both F smashes, up smashes, down smashes. Um, and that could be good. I also Ooh. think that, you know, as a salmon. Oh, sweet spot in that. Yeah, I like the way he set that up. I, I think it was a good read that he was going to, that he still did jump and he was going to go high. The roll on the platform, maybe not the, the cleanest way to cover, but yeah. not bad. Though. Steve G. Ill. Do you think it's Steve G. Illinois? Oh, oh, no, it's no, definitely he's not from Gil. Illinois. He's, he's from, from Mexico. He's from Mexico. Very cool. That's another cool thing about you. You get all the mm -hmm. inner. Oh, got the jump. Yeah, I remember last year, it was like Gucci and versus Levin was one of the better goals matches that I got to see at least. Uh, there's just so much talent all over, and um, in melee, really, it's like attendance and consistency that separates us, not necessarily Ooh. geek skill. Yeah. There are a lot of players that have really, really high ceilings. But they also have simultaneously just super, super low floors. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. But Steve Gill has opened up a nice lead. No jump. Oh nice. Goodness. The duck tilt. The duck tilt? Does he, does he get credit for that? No Samus's were doing that? No, they were definitely doing that. But, I, but I he think does it that, better. Yeah, he does it a lot better than. I mean, Hugs does it very well. Oh, here we go. Jedi with a little bit of a start. Uh, we'll just run through that yeah, also. I feel like Jedi has a lot of trouble getting full combos, whereas Steve over here, once he gets that hit, he's hitting you pretty hard. Yeah. And so the edge guarding too is pretty good from Steve Gill. Uh, that's another thing where Samus has the grapple, but if you don't sweet spot, you get that pop up, and you mm -hmm. saw Steve Gill, Steve Gill do a good job of punishing by just F smashing that. Uh, Samus is inactionable for a little bit of that too. Right. Once you hit the peak, you can fastball down, but on the way up, there's just nothing. Yeah, I remember s used to punish Duck missing the sweet spot by double shining next to the edge, yeah. and the first shine would uh, clank with anything he tried to do from the edge if he went for that, and then the second one would get you if you missed your sweet spot. Nice. One of my formative memories of the, the smash. Ooh, I like it. Pretend to return to sender, please. If he got the power shield on that, though, it would have just been dead. He would have been done. Yeah, because that, I mean, that's a risk reward of doing the, the intended purpose of the shine, right? Is that you could just get stuck. Oh, good crouch cancel. That's just spacey, not, I guess, not not knowledge, but like not familiarity with the matchup is that if, if you're going to start jabbing the Samus, even at 133, yeah. they just hold down. And, and you just get slingshotted out. Still living. Do you think Jedi plays Peach? I'm trying to think like which character is best for tech Jedi. I don't mind the Samus. It's I sci-fi, it's future. Fun. Right? It's the sword. That's the big thing for me is when I think of Jedi, I think, I think of lightsaber though. That's Peach though. <laughs> That's fair. That's Peach. It's tough though. Because, you know, you don't get that, jet, that sword very often. It's pretty rare. Wow. 
lot of F smashes too from Steve Beal, which I think is good if, if you're going to play a patient Samus that doesn't really use the neutrals, right. the boxing tools, quite as you know effectively. You know, we haven't seen that many oh, F tilts man. and jabs from Jedi, and as a result, Steve can just wait for the option that he puts out in that. There's been so many times that Steve has just like come down from off camera with a with a down air and aerial and just smash Jedi. It feels like Jedi does not do well under the the close pressure, like even this situation right here. Oh no. Ooh. He does get oh. it. Yeah. Oh, oh but he turned faced around. the wrong way. What? I guess I, he, he might have... Uh, was he supposed to grapple there? Is that yeah, the so, spot? I thought so he was supposed to grab the ledge. He grappled, and then what he might have done is he could have potentially... Uh, maybe like... Wall jump? I guess. The tech wall jump. But I see Duck do that. To, to try and turn around, but I don't know. That's a pretty unfortunate mistake. And now he's got a pretty big deficit. Yeah, this has felt very, very, very softly in favor of Steve. I, I think that this is, uh, he's having an easy time where he's just, I, I mean, I love the spacey Samus matchup, usually because it's one of those matchups where you feel you really got to use your brain in neutral. You have to avoid kind of their uh, crouch cancel oh, antics. Okay. Woo! Still living there. But. When the Samus doesn't have a good punish or doesn't have a good recovery, it kind of takes away from that uh, that mentally stimulating potential there. So, well played though for Steve. We'll see if uh, if Jedi comes back later.